continuing chart review case for cardiac arrest patient. There's a history of a 60 year old male, approximately 60 kilograms pulseless, abneg and unresponsive on arrival. Unknown patient history, unwitnessed arrest, unknown downtime. This one's not good. Uh, no CPR in progress prior to EMS, even worse. Patient found laying in the house. 911 activated by a neighbor who saw him lying on the ground. Last seen normal this morning when he came out to check his mail. I guess this is according to the neighbor. Uh, no family members, I guess, are at the house. So they found the patient uh, pulses, apneic, and unresponsive. Again, that was related up there at the top, but there's no obvious trauma, uh, no type of uh, alcohol or drug paraphernalia seen at the scene. No signs of foul play noted. Okay. Um, CPR is initiated, uh, high grade performance or high performance CPR continued to be done. They got an IV, uh, external jugular vein, uh, seems to be peaked and running, a uh, 500 cc bag instead of a liter. Um, they had 12 lead, pulse ventricular fibrillation, pulseless, one shock at 200, one at 3, 13 defibrillations delivered at 360. Total of 6 milligrams of epinephrine, 450 of amyodarone, 180 milligrams of lidocaine. Uh, he had uh, intubated and they were doing breaths. Um, <clears throat> the doctor was called after about 22 minutes, patient in VFib, pulses, apneic, unresponsive, Did the, discontinued. So this is a um, refractory VFib ventricular fibrillation call where Something is definitely not occurring. Uh, we're unable to clear that. And I hope it wasn't as coarse VFib. I hope this is more of a fine VFib and unclear systole. We should double check several leads, but that means there's still some kind of electrical activity um, on this patient. I would start to consider looking around the house to see if they can find any type of medications, um, any kind of medical documents that would give us an idea of what might have caused the arrest. We can also look at an assessment to see if they have any surgical scars, pacemaker placements, AICD and the like uh, before we just um, kind of terminate efforts. I understand that, you know, given the amount of time that they worked on this patient, that our efforts probably wouldn't have produced something um, in a positive note on the morbidity and mortality of a patient. And then it does seem that they did turn over the scene to HPD.